Hello, everybody, and welcome to the pre mind Super League. We are here in Pod the B. My name is William Hurst, the host of the I've Got Questions podcast and this wonderful league being brought to you. And today we have the honor of having a continental champion with us, the reigning, defending South American champion, Demian Vernieri, is with us today. Uh, Demi, how you doing, bud? I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. I'm glad to uh, be here. Man, me too. I'm glad to have you on commentary. Um, Pod B, uh, you, you had some action in Pod D with us. People got to see that. So Pod B, our matchup today is, looks like we have um, McLean Denny versus Caleb Durward. Two amazing names. Uh, McLean Denny is on Zombies. And... Um, uh, Caleb Durward is on a black white uh, control deck. When you hear those two sorts of things, um, what comes to mind as far as who might be favored in the matchup? I think it's a really even matchup. Interesting to see it. Um, exactly. Yeah, if the zombie starts well with the rest and then some pressure, it can be it can be really good. Exactly. And this is one of McLean's favorite decks, Umebashi. I can never pronounce it right on Modo. I mean, I'm sure you've faced off against uh, McLean before. Um, looking at this deck list, probably the best Dark Ritual deck out there currently, just because of what it can do. Um, you know, Dark Ritual into like Sacramency and then like um, Shepherd of Rod or things like that. Uh, can be very powerful, and as you mentioned, things like duress and therapy. What do you think about this deck as you uh, see it? The the main deck, the sideboard, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I, I agree with you that it's one of the strongest uh, Dark Ritual decks. This one and the other tribal deck, the Clerics, for sure. Yeah, th this deck can be super aggressive, and it, it has some value with the Lord. So it can be can be problematic for control, control decks. Absolutely. I agree. Um, the sideboard having a lot of free spells in it to kind of kill some creatures. Um, we might get to see something like Zombie Master, given everything, I believe, Swamp Walk. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe we get to see some Swamp Walk out of this game. Yeah. Uh, Bad Moon, as we know, a powerful card. Um, but yeah, this is a, a deck McLean um, is really familiar with. Um, what do you think of cards like... Uh, Four Withered Wretch Main in this. Do you think that's just a necessity because it's both a cleric? It's a cleric zombie, it's right? It's a cleric zombie, so it, and it's the best uh, graveyard hate in the format for sure. It's not that yeah. used because it's only able on mono mono black decks, but it, it's the best one for sure. And in this deck, it, it counts. It serves double, right? Because it's it hits, it controls the graveyard. It puts the token when he dies. It's just super good. Uh, no, no complaints there. Um, Rotlong Reanimator, only two copies. Feels like that's a card you would almost want a four of. Of what do you think of a uh, two main, one sideboard uh, in this deck? Um, I think it's fine. I will probably play more myself, but he probably opt to play more. With the dredges in the main, maybe mm -hmm. expecting some terrors or stuff like that. I mean, we have been seeing about five million terrors an hour at yep. this point. Can't turn your head without seeing scary Terry behind your shoulder. Um, three dresses, three therapies. Uh, great value in this deck. Great disruption. Uh, wastelands and um, oh god. Yeah, just wastelands. It looks like I do not believe he has the um, the land that ports at all. Zombies to the top. I like that one. Oh, the okay. <clears throat> oh, what's the name of that card? Uh, I hadn't even thought about I it until you mentioned remember it. Remember the name? That's uh, both oh. simple, but just for zombies and for one mana. It's super good. yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, that that I could see being in there. Um, but yeah, no, I. I mean, I think at the end of the day, I just want to see a zombie master come out and have Swamp Walk be appropriate. That's all I want okay. in life. You're, doesn't you're doesn't have to be anything special. Tastes. I I really am. Yeah, sure. But um, speaking of a man with uh, tastes, cube tastes, 
awesome taste. Caleb Durward here playing this black, white control deck. We've seen a lot of this uh, thought from other people. Um, Francisco and Caleb worked on kind of the shell of this sort of deck. Um, Caleb top aided Misty with this uh, here in uh, Wisconsin. Playable Dead Guy Ale, Black White Control, essentially a go big control deck of the um, Dead Guy colors. What do you think of this deck as you see it? I think I have been talking with Fran, with Paulus, uh about this one. He's trying to convince me to try it, but uh, I didn't yet. <laughs> but I think it's a really, <laughs> really good deck. And mm -hmm. looking at the list here for this matchup, he has three Wrath of God main deck and four Plague Cyber. So it's going to be hard for mm -hmm. the zombie player, for sure. Yeah. Um, things like Skeletal Scrying, um, a card that was for a long time bugged on um, Moto, but now that it's been fixed, you're seeing a lot more people experiment with it. You're getting to see the power of it. Yeah, I think um, it's a really, really good card. It's one of the best uh, card advantage in, in Black I mean, for sure. Exactly. Very rarely do you get a card this cheap at instant speed that you can just end step. I think the closest comparison is maybe a stroke of genius, but that's not really even a comparison, I suppose. Yeah. One, um, one thing I want to say about this list is... Fran Paulus will see this list. He will not like the one off of Eternal Dragon. He's playing like three or four, I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I've seen, I've heard their differences on this, so it's going to be interesting to see. Uh, out of the sideboard, though, four engineered plagues, zombies, out, unlike elves and even goblins, hard time dealing with an engineered plague. If you land two of those, that's no, he, very close to being game over. I think that the zombies also has bad moons, right? So kind of cancel offs. It, it certainly can, but with the amount of I think, I think uh, the play more Vindicate and Disenchant, yeah, it probably sure. favors the engineered plague, I suppose. I think the play will uh will end up being and uh, slow down more than killing stuff. Like make the, yeah. making the zombies to hit for one instead of two is huge too. It will give him the enough time for sure. I agree. Um, Wrath of God is just going to be an all-star in this matchup though. Um, outside of a rot lung reanimator being on the board, Wrath of God really able to do cleanup work. If you ever wrath into like Exalted Angel, you're probably pretty good. Yeah, for sure. Um, it's a classic aggro um, versus control matchup. Both uh, players have access to discard and uh, removal. So it's really going to be interested uh, what happens here. Um, now that you've seen the decks, what side would you rather be on? Uh, uh, I think I will prefer to be on Caleb's shoes for sure for this one. But again, right. zombies can be super, super aggressive and fast. So it can surprise us for sure. Yeah. Well, we're going to have to see how this match plays out. Who's on the play. As a reminder, this is not open deck list. These players do not know what each other are playing. And it looks like um, McLean is on the play. He uh, is going first. And this is a great example oh, of a dark ritual hand. Yeah, that's what he wants. Um, this is dark ritual, sacromancy, withered wretch. Let's go. Yeah, I think it will open up with the rest and see what they found there and then probably oh, play the wretch. I, you think so? I think you dark ritual, no. get your creatures out, then duress away their, uh, no, I think he, in this case, probably wrath. He dark rituals for sure, but open ups with the rest, get the info, and then decide which creature he will play. Okay. See, this is different. I'm uh, okay. No. I think he's doing what yeah, you know. He's no, going he's yep. Okay, he's aggressive. In. I like it. Yep. I like it, McLean. Let's go. Let's go, zombies. All right. Um, no black source for Caleb. Not a great feeling. Um, that means um, he's got two of the wrath of God, so you probably don't take the wrath of God, you probably take the Gerard's verdict. Oh. Or That's you just uh, yeah. Or you just bad moon and smash yeah, people's faces. It's fine. Eat them for the yeah, it's absolutely. 
Yeah, hit them. That's uh, you know, what what who cares about ball lightnings and jackal pups? What kind of cards are those? Uh, um, that's not looking good. No, Caleb is his mana is not helping him. Um, yeah, this- turns out even when you're uh, more than your you know better playable dead guy ale, your mana can still hurt you. Yep, this is the problem when you play black white, right? Every version, it doesn't matter. You just have these mana issues. Yeah, and then a gem palm, gem palm your face. Yeah, cycling, looking for the third land. If he draws mm-hmm. a swamp, but I think it's game over. Nope, it's close uh, yeah. though. Nope. It's close. Uh, well, not so much. All right. Game one over. Um, that was fast. It really was. Uh, <laughs> McLean going to go ahead and uh, take care of that. We're watching Caleb's sideboard here. Uh, no surprises. Uh, what are you bringing in here? Yeah, I think that's that's fine. That, you know the Circle Reds for sure. Uh, yeah. The Blakes for sure. Probably decent chance for the bad moons. Maybe not. It's just because you need to cut the races, right? Yeah. Um, su- surprised at the not full four plagues. I feel like you bring in one plague and you take out one decree cards, and that's fine. The, she he just wants to cut the four races and. He wants one so off cut. of this enchant. That's fine. Yeah, so four dresses came out. And he cut the arena um, too. The one that he yeah, cut in the arena. For this enchant. I think that's that's good. Yeah, that looks about where you would be at right there. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, obviously the colors hurt uh, Caleb in that first match. Yeah. Um, um and the zombie but being on the play the, is going to be better, route, right? If he, oh if yeah, he will play like I was saying. Maybe, maybe he had one extra turn. Yeah, maybe, and that could have hurt. Um, I mean, the mana just did it in. Being on the play is going to be very important, I think, for um, yeah, and no Caleb and here in the match, right? What he's facing mm-hmm. that will help a lot. He will not keep a hand like the one he kept. <laughs> The game one. Yeah. Speaking of, you know, the things that are keep pre modern interesting, um, the fact that Vindicate is so powerful, but so much of that power is negated by being a sorcery is something I really enjoy oh, we seeing. We have a last minute change there. Second decent Uh-oh, chance for like play. Said, sounds good. All right. So now we're gonna look over here at McLean and see what's going on. Okay. Uh, McLean, what do you think he brings in here from his sideboard? Probably nothing, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, I think I don't. I think you bring in the rot lung because you assume he probably has decree, right? Wrath. Well, rot lung for like the wrath, so you get some value out of being wrath if it's out there. Um, yeah, and, and maybe the swamp walk for. Uh, Decrease chum blockers. That can yeah, I mean, you. I'm all for a swamp walk. If you can get swamp walk yeah, to work, I'm going to cheer he, it. He should get it to you, man. Uh, he, it's what I want. I deserve it. It's my birthday. <laughs> um, all the things I can say. I want swamp walk. Okay. Um, but in this case, plague bear not amazing in this matchup. Um, no, it's just not killing much. It's not doing much. Extra bad moon so is a bad good call mo- for the plagues. Maybe he so, yeah, wants play. a play of himself for maybe soldiers. I don't know. Probably not. Yeah. Notably, plague bear will kill a morphed uh, exalted angel for one mana. Mm-hmm. So there is that. Uh, it's new fouts coming in for the angel. I think it's a good call. Yeah, but is that better than the? I mean, play bear can't be wrath, or play bear can get wrath. He, he can get or, sword to blusher, and then he can into the, yep. the angel, and it's game over. 
Yeah. So it looks like she's the reanimator, right? Yeah, just the reanimator. Re-animator All right, game number two. Forward to. Mm-hmm. All right, we have Caleb on the play. He has all his colored sources, so you know that's a step in the right direction. He has a removal and a load of land drops. So here's a uh, dark ritual, sacramancy, sacramancy, cabal therapy. Probably naming Wrath of God, and let's have a good day. Yep. Or just. I mean, I don't know, or some something. Just Rudman, turn one. Or you just therapy first, and then see what happens. Yeah, therapy first. Let's see. That's 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 why McLean's a good magic player. Uh-huh. Uh, he does this in the right order. Uh, what do you think you name here with therapy, knowing the matchup in general? Holy wrath! Oh no, goes for swords. Yeah, that's a good name too. It is. Uh, so double uh, sacramancy coming out. Now they knows a wrath is coming out. Like being. On the draw, he still beats a Wrath of God coming out. Yeah, I think he's in uh, really good shape. Roadman will come before the Wrath, for sure. Mm-hmm. From Caleb's side, what do you think you're trying to do at this point? I think just surviving. <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean... We all are just trying to survive at the end of the day. Yeah. That's a fair statement. I think he um, is what he will try to, to do is just take the least amount of damage possible each turn. Mm-hmm. So we'll go ahead and uh, play the game. Uh, one would assume a cycle of Eternal Dragon will happen on the end step. Yeah. Both of them are a little um, flawed. Yeah. Uh, the flood's certainly favoring um, Caleb in this case. Yeah, for sure. There's a rot lung. Some little wrath protection. Uh, I mean, I guess you do that and go ahead and get rid of the wrath right now. Yeah, and you still hit for four or next turn. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and cycle an Eternal Dragon. Um, the Decrees are not where Caleb necessarily wants to be. I mean, it's not moment. bad. He will cycle them, recover the card, and just champ block one at the end of... Oh, oh yeah, he uh, definitely <laughs> wants to block for avoid three damage and draw a card for three mana. I think it's good. Uh yeah, I think he'll... Uh, well, I don't think he even has a choice. That's probably not a thing. It's, like, it's ha- cyclists... It's the thing we talked at the beginning. He he will try to get the less amount of damage each turn with the things he has. So this will mm-hmm. cycle the car, log three. No, he's going to go to 10, so he's going to... Okay. All right. So cycle for two, he'll be able to block a Yeah, it's just kill one in song. theory block a token, which isn't a horrible trade. He goes down to seven. Shepherd of Rot. Swinging in with some zombies. We're gonna cycle here and Go ahead and draw a card. Another decree. All right. That's, Just draw all the decrees. It's okay. really not bad. I mean, he's it's running really out not. of win, con- win conditions. So he's not losing either. He just needs one to stick. Do you play? There's no way you play just a f- one angel, right? No, you can't. Like, just, you know, play the mana and just... Get one four four. Oh, no, not yet. All right. All right. Well, we are in the cycle of the decree game. Um, withered wretch also. Well, no, it doesn't really affect skeletal scrying to a certain degree, but 
I mean, kind of. Um, That's not going to be the game plan. I mean, yeah. it, it may be force Caleb to play it earlier than he wants. I think Caleb's life total isn't going to allow him to truly play it. There's an exalted oh, angel low. Um, Just play it face so up. I th- think McLean has to tap this uh, Shepherd of Rot, get some value out of put him to yep, put him to four. Mm-hmm. Trades happen. Um. I think Caleb's at the Slam Exalted Angel and hope for the best yeah. part of the game. His turn can be Exalted Angel and cycling the uh, Barrymore. Yeah. yeah. It's that. It's, yep. Uh, pray to the angels that they save us. And uh, if this angel lives a turn. He swings and cracks. He can kill the bad moon, and then he can start thinking about scrying. Mm-hmm. That's a Lord of the Undead. Yeah. Which it's good, but not enough. It's gonna put it, make it interesting. I mean, he's got a rot lung in the yard. Um. Hmm. Umeboshi needs Me. to play all his cards. If he keeps he yeah. keeps the land in hand, bluff, and then apps being predicted. Uh, yeah, don't think that will be good. I mean, I don't think there's any harm in playing out the land at all. Like uh, Caleb's at one. Yeah, but he will win seven life now. Yeah. And also, if if he was thinking of a Gerard's Verdict, keeping that land in hand for this isn't good because Gerard's Verdict will gain Caleb life. Yeah. Um, so we'll have to see. Uh, Angel lived. I think Caleb will target himself with the Gerard's Verdict right here. Maybe throw a couple cards. First, with the scrying, trying to find mm-hmm. wrath. Or a second land to discard with the verdict. That would be nice too. A swords isn't bad. He can Sword, verdict swords himself your guy, verdict. Or six yep. life and then source the lord. That's the play. Yep. I don't, I think you're seeing the exact play. Yeah. Yep. Six Those life. lands don't matter anymore. Sword the Lord. Sword's your Lord. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think he's All in right. really good shape now. Yep. He does not die on this crack back. Um, uh, I, I, don't, Caleb. I don't see a draw from Miboshi that can win the game this turn. Not even another battle. Uh, two, three. Okay, yeah, so... Yeah, no, you're right. Another bad uh, Carnophage. Seven. Yeah, he'd be one short. Well, does this? No, I won't get it. I mean, play the Carnophage, swing, hit for... I think you just swing with the Shepherd of Rot because you don't want to take any more damage yourself. I don't know about that. I think you just you're maybe down one damage, but you're also like keeping your health up for the race. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, Engineered plague. Yeah, that's game over. Uh, he can play everything. That's Birdie will give yeah. him three life, mm-hmm. and that's a minus two to all his creatures. Yeah, there's no way Umeboshi can win this race now. Oh, no, not at this rate at all. S- kind of surprised he didn't leave a black open for to like verdict him in case there was a card that mattered in his hand. Yeah, but was also one life 
from the the Coilos, mm-hmm. right? I don't know. Yeah, but he knew he was going to gain four, and he was tapped out to the point where he wasn't. There was. I don't think there's anything he could play that was going to get him for the one life. Hmm. Maybe. Um, I could 100 percent be wrong, but I just I didn't see it. Maybe he valued the one life more than the one card in hand. I mean, who am I to argue with Caleb? Um. Yeah, there's uh Yeah, that doesn't hit for six. It does not. I'm gonna hit for two. Uh yeah, he's just now falling behind in this race. The good thing is that we will be able to see a third game, right? And I mean that's that's the best scenario that we could hope for. Uh therapy gonna go ahead and name Smother. So use the verdict to play out your land. Probably conceded. Conce- he actually game. just conceded. Yeah. All right. Caleb picking up game number two. Uh, any changes to the sideboarding? What do you think? I don't know. Maybe he wants to play Ringers now and this new fouts for the Ancients, right? Oh, oh Zombie Master. Let's go. Yep. I want Swamp Walk. Make it happen. Yeah, to be fair with Umeboshi, he didn't see much first game, right? He didn't have the no, information he did not. he had. So <laughs> he didn't know if uh, Caleb was in land steel or maybe something different, and he just didn't draw anything. Mm-hmm. That's <clears throat> very true. So now a uh, zombie master is coming in for the swamp walk and a couple removals are coming back for the angels. I think that's fair. Yeah. He's debating um, the bla- the bad moons because he knows that they're ca- direct counter to the plagues. Mhm. An interesting choice here. I'm going to be interested to see what he does. Looks like a wretch coming out. A snuff out coming in. Maybe. Snuff out one coming in. Good counters to angels. He definitely wants to kill those angels, right? Angel is the one, Mm -hmm. the one creature that will turn the Caleb's life total back up. Mm Mm-hmm. If that's the case, isn't um, I mean, Smother doesn't get around if he plays a full cast angel, I suppose. Yeah, and neither just play with bear. This deck, it's it's really natural to hard cast the angel. Mm-hmm. With, uh, Do you think that sn- other snuff out should be coming in for say like I think a, I will put it in for a sure. wither and this or a wretched and or something? Yeah, I mean, I just want the zombie master because I want to swamp walk. <laughs> um, yeah. That's all I wanted. Yeah, like the regeneration is cool, but let's go. Yeah, let's go, Zombie Master. All right, if I could see Zombie Master played, uh, Gem Palm coming out. Yeah, really. I wonder why he is valuing that withered wretch so high. I mean, I, I know that it get, takes care of skeletal strength. I, I get it. Takes it's care of an eternal, it. and it's an it's it's the only drop two that hits for two. That's the thing. You went wrong. It's the only rock two of the deck that hits for two or more. Um, all right. So on to Caleb. Looks like he's debating about this uh, last engineered play coming in. Eternal Dragon coming the out. Eternal Dragon slow. He doesn't want slow. Yep. He saw Withered Wretch, so it's just like, oh, that's not great. Yep. Um, do you think that other disenchant comes in on the on the draw to take care of like a bad moon or like a duress comes in to take care of like a bad no, moon. I think two decent chance and four vindicates is enough to take care of the bad moons. I don't know. He's thinking duress. He's got them se- separated out. Maybe he's smelling the, the new removal spells in the deck. I mean, he, he could sniff it out, have the, have the power of the sniff. Yeah. Um, looks like he's just going to keep an Eternal Dragon coming uh, Vindicate for Duress. 
All right, all right, all right. So duress and a last engineered plague and a disenchant coming in for Eternal Dragon, Vindicate. I think I like that. On on these matches yeah. against aggro, you, you pretty much always want to do something turn one. Especially if yes. you're on the draw, right? So if you're only uh, one mana things or swords. Eh, mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, this his cyborg isn't really geared for this matchup. No, um, because I think it's a really good one, right? You want to be the cyborg to improve the bad ones. I mean, let's. I mean, we just got to say the lack of circle of protection black is obviously <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> incorrect. Can zombies ever beat a circle of protection black? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, like having more zombies than your opponent lands. That's the only well, way. Well, no. Uh, the the um, what's it called? Gem palm gets around it. Gem palm and uh, I think the cycle. Gem palm and uh, I think the cycle is black too because the source is the card and the card. Yeah, is black. but it's it's a uh, life loss. It's not damage. Okay. Okay. And then also, never mind. Also, uh, Shepherd of Rot gets around it, so he's not dead to Circle of Protection Black. But yeah, sorry, really annoying. My bad. I know, right? With just as an aside, we're waiting here. Like as soon as like Shrimp was becoming a thing, I had a couple of white decks that had Circle of Protection artifacts in it. Yeah, I mean it's good. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't <laughs> know if it's good. <laughs> Good might be a stretch. No, that's not a good um, mul Instant mulligan from Kayla. Yep. Disenchant going away. Um, this hand is good, be on... but it loses to the rest, I think. Uh, yeah. Dark Ritual, Shepherd, Carnophage. Yep. Then Bland Moon. Bad Moon. Turn, turn two. two. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you know. Uh, yeah. Engineered Plague. Bluffing a sword from Caleb. Bluff the... <laughs> <laughs> McLean not going to respect the bluff at all. I mean... He's just going to... There's no reason to. It's literally the Current. best thing Caleb can do turn one. Bluff a sword. Yeah. Do you... So do you play out the Shepherd of Rot... And start playing. I mean, the Shepherd of Rock gets you blown out less because the disenchant makes. Yeah, if um, you do the math, he hits for one more this way than mm -hmm. with the bad moon. That's the the only math that matters. Forbidding Watchtower, not great draw. Really gonna punish. Actually, that's gonna severely punish him right now. Oh my god, that's really punishing. Like he can't. Yeah, he can't you can't like disenchant. Well, maybe it doesn't. No, yeah. There, if a he had, lot of damage, he could avoid. Uh, and he would. No, he wouldn't have avoided the damage because he didn't play the Blood Moon or the Bad Moon. Well, no, he would have. Yeah, he's because he can just it right disenchant now. it. Yeah. And okay. Also, oh, yeah. he will play. He will have to choose playing between the play and the disenchant now. If he will be yeah, able this... to play. I know he he doesn't have a third land to play the like, play. Yep, he could. Yeah, that's it. He could have done disenchant in response to the attack, yeah. and then play on his turn. Yeah, that would. You're right. You're absolutely yeah, right. I mean, I, um, I, I think it, it was. I mean, we, we are seeing everything, right? It's easy from here. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, but that forbidding watchtower shows some of that, you know, comes into play tap lines and that tempo loss can be devastating. Yeah, exactly. You're, you're absolutely right. Like, uh disenchant on a bad moon saves things and then followed up with the play. Pretty much lost the game because of that. But on Caleb's side, I think I I would probably do the same because he wants 100% to play the wrath on th turn 4, right? Yeah, you're right. So he wants to to have the fourth land and tap turn four. But I don't think he can survive until turn four. No, this is um this is pretty much game over. I mean, and that showed the power of what a uh dark ritual can do, right? Yeah. Putting three power into play. Exactly. And there it is. 
McLean going ahead and picking up the win here with Zombies on turn, um, essentially on his turn four. That was an amazing match, um, for sure. It was, absolutely. Caleb uh, trying to put up the fight he could really put in a strong match uh, game number two, but, I mean, what what else can really be said right there? Yeah. Um, overall, do you think that match went about as expected, Yeah, uh, I mean, Demi? For sure. The, the two okay. games, I think he started with that ritual for one, all three games, right? That's, that's really hard yes. for a control deck to have like two or three creatures or two creatures and a discard spell. And mm-hmm. one. It's really hard yeah. to deal. Uh, I, I agree. Um, and, you know, Caleb also, he, I don't think he saw swords in... I think he saw swords in like one of the games. Yeah, the one he won. That had to be... Game two. Yep, the one he yeah. won in... The, yep, the, an important card, but... um. Uh, McLean picking up the win with zombies. Zombies very powerful. Uh, well, I'll do it for this match. Um, I've been William Hurst. I'm here with uh, Demian Vernieri, our reigning South American champion and uh, Super League competitor over in Pod D. Um, that's it. We'll catch you on the flip side for the next match. I hope everyone enjoyed. Make sure you like and all that stuff. Um, and we'll talk to you later. Take care.